Hello there, it's Everything Man 95 again. Um, today I'm going to be melting more aluminum with this uh, little furnace here. I have a new blower on it. It's a double squirrel cage type fan thing from an old uh, an old fume hood type thing that goes over a stove. So it's there. It can go very uh, very strong. There's a little control box here for it. <laughs> Couple wrappers in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be melting a bunch of aluminum soda cans and some other things. I have an old blowtorch here to help start it and a propane torch. And just using charcoal and air. And the crucible is a. Uh, an old little propane can with the top cut off. And we're going to be pouring the aluminum into these old red bricks that have perfect little spots for uh, ingots in them. So I'll be back when I have it lit. Now what I've done is I've, uh, I've just put in some charcoal on the bottom and all around the crucible. And in it I have two uh, crushed pop cans in the bottom with some uh, scrap aluminum that was left over from the last melt. Now I took my torch here and I just sprayed uh, sprayed some kerosene all around it and I'm going to light it up here, the propane torch. Next, I'm just going to turn on the fans to low and just let it heat up. So I've probably gone through about 20 cans now and I've actually had to turn off the blower. Even on the lowest settings it gets so hot that um, I'm probably going to end up burning a hole through the crucible like I did with a couple of the last ones. But uh, I've gone through about 20 cans and um, it's going well. I have some scrap here from last time that has to be remelted as well. And I'll be back when I'm ready to pour. Now it's been about 30 seconds since the last video and I've already gone through about 5 cans. I had to turn off the blower again and I, I rotate the can, the crucible, every time to try to get an even heat. But even if you see down there the fan's not on and the, uh, the whole bottom of the crucible is glowing red. And uh, as well on the side here, I've gone ahead and uh, taken the propane torch and heated all these bricks because if you have any moisture in your bricks and you pour the aluminum, your bricks will either crack or your ingot will end up being filled with bubbles from the steam trying to escape. And uh, I try to keep up crushing cans and go through uh, cans pretty quickly and all that I'm doing is taking taking cans, putting them on a brick, stepping on them so they get flat so I can put in more and it uh, reduces the amount of time for air to get in and uh, make more slag and oxidize the aluminum. So I'll be back when it's ready to pour. Just a side note here, if you or anyone gets harmed trying something like this I'm not held responsible. I uh, just have to put out a disclaimer just in case. And uh, the blower is running right now. Probably going to put in this. What I do is I wait till near the end to put in the thicker stuff so that it ends up melting easier. And I have the bricks ready along with a little pot of water to put, uh, to put the ingots in after they're done. And you could just leave the ingots to cool while in their bricks, but I like the effect of having the water boil instantly when you put the uh, hot ingot in. I'm almost ready to pour here. I've uh, gone through about half a bag of charcoal, and I've had to go get another bag of cans because I've put so many in it. But uh, I don't know how full the crucible is, probably about one third of it. It's full and we're going to try to put at least these two ingots right here. 
Okay, so we're getting ready to pour here. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of aluminum in there. And a lot of slag as well. So I have the good old sketchy tool here to try to scoop off some of the some of the junk. Like this. There's a lot of junk in there. Now I do recommend wearing a safety mask, a gas mask, because the fumes aren't very healthy of aluminum. See, there's a ton of slag. If you want to minimize junk like this, you can um, take all the soda cans before you put them in. Just take sandpaper to them, and uh, then that'll take off all the labels and everything. But uh, it's pretty time-consuming, so I just I just put them right in. There's a ton of junk. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour here. I have to reset the tool. And I'll put the camera right over here. To get a good view of the bricks. So we pretty well have two ingots there, and the can is now empty, and I poured out the rest of the slag right over here, and it's burning the ground. So um, I'm going to have to take out these ingots, just give them a couple seconds to cool, and I'll take them out and drop them in the water. Yeah, they're still liquidy, so I'll wait a couple So minutes. I'll take this one ingot here. I'm going to put it in the water. So aluminum has a very low melting point, so it's very easy to melt. But unless you have it really all surrounded with heat, it gets hard because uh, it's such a good heat conductor as well as uh, copper and other things, but aluminum is the, the easiest to melt when you have uh, something like this. And if you're interested in uh, this type of thing, check out my channel. I have a couple more videos like this and a video on how to build this forge. So I accidentally split one of my ingots in half and I just wanted to show you the neat pattern that it uh, that it has. It's kind of crystalline almost. So I'll end up remelting this down and I'll be out in a sec with um, with my total ingot count from all the melts I've done so far. Um, I'm melting just a couple more just to try to get all the, the rest of the cans out of my garage because they're pretty space consuming when you have a few garbage bags full of them. So here's my uh, total ingot count. I have six altogether, and uh, like I said before, if your if your uh, ingot mold isn't dry, mine is mine's the bricks over there. Then uh, the water and stuff in the brick, when you pour the aluminum, will turn to steam and will bubble up through your ingot. So this is my first ingot, and uh, the brick was wet, so it's all uneven. It still looks neat but it's all uneven and rough. The other ones are very smooth. This one probably being the best. And um, if you're looking to use this as a, a method of making money, it's not very efficient because if you go to the store and you get five cents a can, aluminum is not very uh, expensive. So uh, if you're doing this just to scrap the cans and sell them for scrap, it's 
not a very uh, well-paying job, so it's more for fun, at least in my case it is. So, uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want, and uh, have a nice day.